This team competed last week at the Baltic Cup in Gdansk. Here, Angelina Kudryavtseva and Ilya Krankovic yeah, from sec Cyprus. The second Junior Grand Prix season, second event, of course, fifth last week at the Baltic Cup, eighth at the Junior World Championship, 62.15. Personal best in the rhythm dance, skating in tango, the flamenco. This team from Cyprus, Angelina and Ilya, such an exciting team and so many people mesmerized by their exciting free dance last week at the Baltic Cup. They were eighth at the Junior World Championships in April in Tallinn and they have all the prerequisites for success. Just struggling a little again on their technical element score as they did last week. They had a fall at the start of the rhythm dance last week. Lucky or relieved I'm sure not to have suffered the same fate here but a technical element score looking a little low, Ted. Yeah, you know, they were very impressive in practice. I've been watching practice on both days and and uh, very impressive taking the ice, but you can see little things here and there that just get away from them. But as a team, they have good power, good speed, good ice coverage, great presence on the ice and some good performance as well, but some technical aspects that get in their way. Yeah, we see now the technical panel will be studying the depth and clarity of the edges as we look at the third and fourth key point. And interestingly, with the curve lift, last week they had just a level two. This is that coming up now. This week, I don't think she establishes the difficult position because she doesn't let go. This week, I think, Ilya attempted the one foot as a difficult feature for him, but it looks like it's just coming in a level one for now as the technical panel review that. So definitely not the lack of ability from this team they're both excellent skaters just maybe because they're earlier in their season ted as opposed to some of the others they 
started their Junior Grand Prix campaign just last week, later than many of the other top teams, so still figuring out and ironing out some of the technical element issues. Yeah, true. And, you know, we talked about the experience gained from competition one to two, what they've only had, you know, (laughs) sort of back to back. So there wasn't a lot of time to work on the details that they needed to. So we may not have seen that gain, if you will, between the two events. But this is a very good team and they will continue to progress, you know, throughout the year when they get their technical details down. They'll see a significant rise, I think, in the standings. Yeah, completely. This is a team which, having seen it, they were eighth at Junior Worlds a few months ago. I think this is a team that well could contend with some of those stronger teams that we might see later on in this competition. Just ironing things out. And points mean prizes, those levels on the lifts. Although, actually, now it looks like the curve lift is coming in at a four. So. Yeah, it is. It actually, it is a four now. So that's good. And they did get three of the key points. So that's good. Level one and level two on the midline steps. So, you know, in... As we talked about, you know, a lot of times that these teams need this, you know, they focus near the end of the season. So some people start their season a little bit later. And also, many of these stories come in that they didn't have ice time. A whole mess of situations that we're sometimes not aware of, but we found a little bit later. Um, that uh, with everything going on around the world, some of these skaters are not getting the same amount of time as you would like, perhaps in another country. So start a little bit later in the season have two back-to-back you know there's a lot of reasons why but i don't question at all with this team their skating ability and their capacity to continue to rise in the ranks throughout the year and having seen how amazing their free dance choreography is perhaps so much of their training time in the offseason has been devoted to creating something which i think is really really special in the free dance that maybe just time devotion to just ironing out some of the levels might be something that has been put on the back burner a little bit you can't do everything all of the time. <laughs> You're right. You're absolutely right. And generally speaking, one program takes precedent over the other, although you train them both. But one is much more enjoyable to do. <laughs> so you probably <laughs> practice that a little bit more often. Free program, of course, being so important. Maybe more time spent on that early on in the season. And we can look forward to seeing their free dance tomorrow when the ice dances will complete what will be the last ice dance competition of the Junior Grand Prix Series before the final. Yes, absolutely, and I know that people are looking very anxiously at the those that will qualify to see what that final is going to look like. As we take a look at the scores for Angelina and Nelia, 54.92 for the rhythm dance. That'll put them into third place. And you can see perhaps these scores are a little lower than some of the other. Of course, we've only, only in the first.